You know, I was trying to record a video here, and then the Force of Thon. Force of Thon now. Okay, that's like just sick. Listening to Disturbed and uh, playing Forza, as you do. Alright, after that quick intermission, we're back for some stuff, yeah. Now, at some point, I would like to come and get all of these, so I might start doing videos, getting these bad boys. If that interests you, let me know, because that's really easy to do achievement videos for the most part, and then I don't know if it helps you or whatever. I guess if you're like a super noob, it might help you. But anyways, today we are building my favorite Hoonigan vehicle of all time. This is Ken Block's personal RS1800. Now, if you don't know about this car, this car is absolutely insane. Uh, I don't recall the company that built it, but it's a fully custom aluminum block inline four cylinder. It revs to 9,000 RPM and produces about 350 horsepower, naturally aspirated. It sounds insane. <laughs> It shreds. And you notice this wide body kit, right? Custom wide body kit by Rocket Bunny. The owner of Rocket Bunny actually did it custom for Kim Block. And, uh, you know, you see that with their new, like, pit truck thing they're building for Worth House Drift Team. It's similar to that, only it's Kim Block's personal vehicle. So, you know, there's not really too much information out there on this car. They've done, like, a build breakdown on it or something, like, a couple years ago. And I remember when that came out, dude, I was like, I had to go get new underwear because it's insane, okay? For a wide body car, it's not actually that wide in the rear. We've got 265s, kind of unfortunate there. We're going to keep them skinny in the front as we're going to keep it rear wheel drive. Go ahead and throw on drag radials. Just for scientific purposes, we're going to max out these stock motors to so throw a turbo on there. Uh, once again, like, we do have the LS, which is obviously a better option for this particular vehicle. We're not going to be making much power on the stock motor. We'll probably come back and do a drift build like we did in Forza 7, just because I love this vehicle so much. We got 700 horsepower, 500 foot-pounds of torque. Not the greatest. Yeah, that one hurts quite a bit, but, uh, you know, it's necessary for the cause. Twin turbo LS, which is apparently a Mercedes engine according to forums, but, you know, it's an LS, whatever maxed out it's what why jesus fuck. so this thing completely maxed out like completely maxed out is still an s class all right well, we've got no tire in the rear and we've got a thousand horsepower so uh oh well Yo, know, it's interesting. This feels like such a drift car with like the squat and everything. If you look at it, it's got a good amount of squat. The thing is, is this is actually like a road rally car. That's what it was made for. Now, I don't know how often he actually drives it because I personally haven't seen him do anything other than the burn lot yard thing in it. But uh, actually, what is that called? Donut garage. I can't think of what it's called. That was literally like a week ago. It's insane, dude. All right, this is gonna be a build and a half. It's, uh, I hate the rain, dude. We're gonna hop into S1 class rivals to finalize the tune, and you know it's dry and everything, so that'll be nice. Test number one, we're gonna give about half throttle. Wheel spin. <laughs> All right, that's uh, sick. I actually have short-term memory loss. I don't remember what gear we crossed in, so I'm just gonna have to randomly adjust these, cause I don't know. I remember second and first, first, second, third. I don't know. I have, what am I saying? I actually have autism. One seventy-two, decent trap speed on that run there. We spun through like five gears, but 172 is a decent trap speed. Okay, just 
casually stall it. Yeah, um, hmm. We need some boost by gear on this bad boy. Ugh. It's depressing. This game looks so sick. Alright. Actually, I think we're gonna not use clutch, because that's becoming a problem. She gets loose. Wow. You know what else is loose? Yo, I'm actually gonna punch a hole in my controller. I'm holding down gas so hard. Okay. Uh, we're gonna download a tune, because what I've learned is that I'm just really bad at this. That's what I've learned. Alright. Store, download. Yep, yeah, cool. S1, Gymkhana, World Record V2, Drift Rally, B, Speedy. Speedy, baby. Speedy. I'm listening to a song called The Vengeful One, right? And there's a heavy guitar bias, like, on the right ear, which I just learned. So I heard it because I have the right ear muff off of my headphones. So I just heard like, that, that was bizarre, dude. Wow. His is heavier, less power. It's still a V8, but... Uh, Hoon Escort Drag. Okay, that's the same but different suspension, I'm imagining. Rear-wheel drive drag. Here's an all-wheel drive one, 500 horsepower. That's probably faster than ours. Okay, so here we have a tune with the exact same upgrades. It's just the tuning itself being different. It's the same PI, and it costs like three grand, which is rims. Yep, he's got some nice HREs on this bad boy. Still rear wheel drive. Still the LS, which is seven liters. We're going to see what she does. In rivals. Yo, that's actually so annoying. On Snapchat, it says added by... And then it just says dot 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 because there's not enough space on the screen to actually show how they added me. The fact that it's a four gear tune instead of a three gear tune is so edgy. Like who uses a four gear tune? If you're gonna make it like a power glide style actual drag car, do three, don't do four. Like this guy's so stupid, dude. One seventy six. An 8.8 is faster than ours, I believe. I don't recall exactly what ours was, but I imagine it was slower than that. So, totes to this guy, because he made one that actually hooks decently. He says, as he burns to 100. Okay. Okay. Like, 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 like. I like it a lot. I like peen a lot. I like my mom a lot. I like Nick a lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah. Ha. <laughs> well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, I can get a decent thumbnail, because drag racing thumbnails, like, we all know those popping, okay? So, um, thanks, thanks, thanks for the tune. Click one of these two videos and subscribe if you're new. I right, see you later. Later is in, like, in three weeks when I make another YouTube video. Okay, cool. We're on the same page.